Hello, welcome to tutorial 2. In this tutorial I shall be explaining the basics of making a door, cutting walls, making skyboxes, and adding props to the map. So, firstly we are going to open our hammer as done before. I haven't actually saved the map yet so I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go to file, save, I'm going to write in L4D underscore tutorial. I'm going to save it as that. So, this is the map from last time. So, now the map is a bit big, so I'm going to shorten it down a bit because this is only the first room. So, I'm going to highlight all the walls, scroll out, and drag it in. So, as you can see, the room is a lot smaller now. Right, the wall at the bottom is a bit small, so I'm going to drag that across both sides. And also, if you can see, some of the walls have come a bit too short. So, now that my walls are in place and everything's looking good, I'm going to move this wall across. So, if I scroll out, move the wall across, make it Whoops. Make it bigger. I seem to have need to drag the bottom open. And there we have it. Right. So now if I want to cut a piece out of this wall, you go to the place. So to make it simple, I'm going to cut a wall by here because there's nothing in the way of it and it'll be quite simple to see. So to cut, you have to click on the wall, then click on this clipping tool, which you can click Shift X or you can just click it. It seems to have a yellow line cross through it, so click that. Right. So now we have the clipping tool. So now I will drag down on the map. So as you can see, one half's gone white and one half's gone red the red side will delete so once you click enter so if you want to keep both sides you click the tool and click it again and they'll both go white as you can see so click enter and it will cut through so now as you can see you have two sides without using any so now we started we've cut the wall so now we need to cut it to the other side of the door so once again click the clipping tool drag down now you none of the sides will go red because it registers from the last time you cut. So once again click enter. Right. So now we have a basic door, but it's too high. So I'm gonna just randomly guess I'm gonna cut halfway from here. Right. So now I have a door. Which needs to be deleted. Now as you can see the archway is way too big so I'm going to shorten it out by making it smaller. This makes the door look a bit more realistic but by rearranging everything else we'll get it back to normal again. Right. So we have our doorway. So now once again we will click the entirety tool or shift D, click somewhere, double click or yeah, double click the door and write in prop underscore door underscore rotating and apply. Now, as you can see, there's just a red thing on the floor. This is because we haven't chose the door. So you go to world model, browse, and type in door. Or you can go down the MDL files and look for prop and squad door, which is by there. So as you can see, there are many type of doors. These are the safe room doors. That's just an open door. That's just some random door. So just look through and pick a door which you like. Um, I'm gonna have that one. So you click OK, apply, and the door appears. Now as you can see, it's definitely not in shape. So you need to adjust it. And rearrange it. So this will take some detail because you don't really want it to be out of 
face at all. So there we go. I'm going to now rotate the door by clicking on the door and moving it into place. Right, so you need to be dead good about this. So as you can see, my archway is way too small for the door. So I need to lift the height. So this is you've got to have a lot of patience with this game with this map maker because it can be quite fussy and quite picky. So as you can see I I'm editing the walls around the door so it's not so as you can see the wall is still a bit thick. So I me personally you don't have to do this but I'm going to make the wall very small. And remove the door in the line with me again. I'm going to make the walls a little bit thicker because it's a bit too small. So, just a little bit. And as you can see, the door is looking pretty much in shape with everything. So, I'm just going to check all the walls are in shape and size by zooming out. Right, it looking all good. Right. So now I have my door in place, but on the other side of this door there is just a drop. So I need to make another room. Um, I'm going to pause the video and make a small room as done before. You can see I've made a little wall. Right. Um, so if a player walked out of this room now, the roof would be very very glitchy. So. I'm just gonna edit this a little bit so it's not. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that later. Right, so now I'm gonna teach you how to make a skybox. So you do what you would normally do you make the walls around where you wanted it to be. So I'm gonna do it over my small brick walls, so on top. The same height. I'm going to put walls everywhere around again. And I'm going to copy this one over to the other side, as done before. So now we have a bit of a taller wall. Right. So to make a skybox, you will click each of the things and browse the textures. You will write in the filter tool or tools, and you will scroll. Sorry about that. And you will scroll down until you see a skybox this is this one here double click it and make it the skybox detail now it's all looking good but now we need a roof over the top of this so I'm gonna once again draw a roof over the top Oops. as I've done so um, and it's looking pretty good the only problem now is that the wall outside is the same as inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy. No, I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to cut the wall just inside, as you can see. So I'm going to enter right. So now when I click this, I can change the texture of the wall. I'll put concrete, and I'm going to change it. And inside, it'll be the same texture. Okay, so. Now, if somebody walks out here, all around them will be sky textured, which will look pretty good. Right, so now that we've got the skybox in place, you might not want a normal skybox. So, if you wanted to change it, you would go to Map, Map Properties, and then you'll see Skybox Texture Name. Now, at the moment, I've got Sky Left 4 Dead, and it's got Urban 01 HDR. But if you wanted to change this, you will go to the website. You can go on a website called developer.valvesoftware.com and if you search around that, you'll be able to find the sky list. Now, I'm going to keep my skybox texture name as that because I like that one. But you can change it to many other ones. Okay, so now that I've 
got my skybox sorted out and my outside is all looking good I'm now going to go back inside and teach you how to make a prop so say I wanted a, a couch in the corner or a chair I'm going to double click the tool prop underscore static I'm going to apply go to world model and browse table I'm going to look through now there'll be a lot of broken ones because it's an epidemic map so I'm going to look through and I like the look of that one um, ok apply now you can do this for many map for many different objects but I'm just going to keep it simple and have it just a table there for now um, you can put chairs, TVs and many other things this concludes this tutorial for the advanced mapping